Operation of Error Check. Setup. After unpacking, place the instrument on a stable bench top. Make sure that the vent holes of the analyzer are not obstructed. The analyzer requires an environment with ambient room temperature in the range from 10 to 45 degrees Celsius. Turn the instrument and connect the power cable to the plug on the rear side of the instrument. The AC input voltage can be anywhere between 85 and 264 volts. If the instrument is used in mobile laboratories or in the field, it can also be operated at 12 volts DC using a DC-AC converter. For data transfer or remote control, the unit can be connected to a network by the Ethernet interface or directly to a computer or printer using the USB ports. Put the inlet tube in the lure inlet on the right side of the instrument. Then place the waste container next to the instrument and connect the outlet tube to the outlet on the left side of the instrument. Switch on the analyzer by pushing the power button on the front. Measurement. In the first step of the measuring procedure, the hydrocarbons are extracted from the water sample. This is done by a liquid-to-liquid -liquid extraction using cyclohexane or cyclopentane as a solvent. We recommend collecting 900 milliliters of water sample into a glass bottle with PTFE cap. Prepare 50 milliliters of solvent in a volumetric flask and pour it into the sample bottle. Shake the bottle vigorously for a good extraction and then wait until the phase separation has completed. Now the hydrocarbons previously present in the water sample are concentrated in the solvent phase. Add some tap water to the sample bottle to lift the solvent phase to the top of the bottle. Then use the delivered glass syringe to transfer approximately 20 milliliters of the top layer into a beaker glass. Now the extracted sample is ready for the automatic analysis by the error check. Enter the sample ID and the operator on the pop-up keyboard or select them from the drop-down list of previously entered names. Then enter the exact values for the water volume and solvent volume that we use for the extraction. We recommend using 900 milliliters water volume and 50 milliliters solvent volume. To measure the total oil and grease concentration, select factory calibration or your own customized calibration and press run. First, you will be asked to insert pure solvent. Please make sure to take the pure solvent from the same solvent batch as the one used for the actual extraction. After the measurement of the solvent, swipe the filling tube with the tissue. Put it into the extracted sample and confirm this on the display. The analysis is finished within two minutes. The displayed result is the concentration of oil and grease in water measured in milligrams per liter. If you want to measure total petroleum hydrocarbons in water, according to ASTM D7678, instead of oil and grease in water, both sample and solvent must first be filtered over fluorosyl and sodium sulfate. To simplify this filtration step, we've developed a single-use cartridge that is inserted between the inlet nut and the inlet tubing. On the display, you just select Use Cartridge and the predefined calibration for ASTM D7678. Then push Run and follow the instructions of the automated measuring procedure.
The analysis is finished within three minutes. The displayed result is the concentration of total petroleum hydrocarbons in water measured in milligrams per liter. Result handling. In the result menu, several thousand results can be stored and reviewed. Simply go to the result menu. Each line displays a result. Browse through the result memory using the cursor keys at the bottom of the list. The data can also be printed on a directly connected printer or via Ethernet connection to a LAN or network printer. A file containing all results can be stored on a USB flash drive for storage on a PC or a review in MS Excel. A very convenient alternative is the automatic transfer of the data to a LIM system. There is no software required. Just connect the instrument to the local area network via the built-in Ethernet connection and define the folder and file name where the results shall be stored. Remote control, data transfer, software upgrade, result review and much more is possible with the Aerolytics Aerosoft RCS software. Please make sure to carefully read the instruction manual before you start with the first measurements. The manual is available as PDF file on the delivered USB flash drive. Additionally, you will find a one-page laminated short instruction inside the accessories box. If there are still questions remaining, please contact our well-trained local representatives or contact us directly via our website at aerolytics.com.